Not only is the Connie Corso one of the most powerful dog breeds in the world, but it is also one of the best family guardians in existence. A gentle giant towards its loved ones, the Connie Corso is an extremely capable personal protection dog. In today's video, we're going to discuss the amazing temperament of the Connie Corso in much more detail. Welcome back to the Fenrir Connie Corso Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Will. I'm a canine behaviorist and I'm the founder and CEO of FenrirCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything that you could possibly want to know about the incredible Connie Corso, then how to become a high level canine leader that can raise perfect Connie Corso companions. So if you're a lifelong Connie Corso lover, just thinking about getting your first Connie Corso and you love them as much as we do here at Fenrir, I promise you this channel is for you. So start by hitting that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell so that you never miss a future Connie Corso video. So let's dive into today's video and we'll take a good look at the Connie Corso's wonderful temperament. We're going to delve into their guarding abilities, their suitabilities as family companions, and also their trainability as it relates to their temperament. As I strongly believe that the history of a breed is really important as it allows us to better understand their temperament that we see today. So let's get started with looking at the origins of this majestic Italian Mastiff. The beautiful Connie Corso, who we know and love today, has a long history. Like many of today's Corsos, these large, bulky, ancient dogs are depicted with cropped ears and docked tails and loose skin around the neck. These traits protected the dogs from injuries, whilst their enormous size and weight made them formidable opponents for man and beast. Now, we are speaking of the famous Molossus Hound, who the Romans encountered during their occupations of Greece after the Macedonian Wars. The Romans were so impressed by the strength and ferocity of the Molossus dogs that they took some of them back to Rome with them. Soon, the new dogs from Greece distinguished themselves as a valuable asset of the Roman army, and clad with mail armour, metal chest plates, and collars adorned with metal spikes, these canine warriors bravely fought alongside their human counterparts, and it's these dogs that form the Connie Corso that we know today. Hey guys, very quickly, I just wanted to interrupt and let you know about our boot camp program if you've never heard of it before. It's the program that as a canine behaviorist I use every single day with all of the clients and all of the bad behavior cases that I work with to high levels of success. It is focused on teaching you how to become a high level canine leader that is able to restructure the relationship with your dog so that they see you as that leader and they know to look up to you for guidance and direction. When we achieve that, we can then finally address those bad behavior problems and get to the point of having the perfect canine companion that you've always dreamed of. So if you want more information about our bootcamp program, the link will be down in the description box below. But until then, let's get back to the video you were just watching. Unlike many other guardian breeds, the Connie Corso does not require guard dog training to know when to protect its people and property. These muscular dogs are very intelligent and tuned into their owners at all times, which is why they will rarely just blindly attack upon seeing an intruder on their property, or a person coming too close for comfort to their owners. Instead, an untrained Corso will most likely put their massive body between the perceived threat and the building or the person that it is protecting at that specific moment. Interestingly enough, this behavior is observable in many large livestock guardians, who historically also can be traced back to those ancient Molossus dogs that we talked about earlier. However, in contrast to those giant flock guardian breeds, such as the Caucasian Shepherd or the Great Pyrenees, Connie Corsos form immensely strong emotional bonds with their owners by default. And it is precisely that bond that close connection which allows the Connie Corso to quickly interpret any given situation simply because of the emotions that they can pick up on from their owners. In other words, they are quite able to distinguish a friendly hug from an attempted assault because they're so in tuned with how you are reacting to that situation. Also, Corsos are perhaps the most intelligent and trainable of all of the Mastiff breeds, which is why they will absolutely follow the guidance of their human leader. Of course, as a Connie Corso leader, you will need to take the time to establish that leadership. You will need to socialize and train your dog from an early age to make sure it can face any potential real-life situations with confidence. 
Now, most owners will report that their Connie Corso is very friendly towards strangers up to around 12 months of age. Corso puppies love everybody and do not want to miss a chance to meet and greet new people. However, after that usual magical one year mark, a noticeable change starts to occur in those younger dogs. Not only does it lose interest in strangers, but it comes wary of them and often can be seen to fall into that protective position we spoke about earlier in this video, which means the dog will put itself between you and that unfamiliar person more in a guarding scenario. And in terms of property guarding behavior, the young adult comes into its own again around that age of 12 months. No longer will it welcome visitors as a matter of course, but growl and bark at them, thereby alerting their owners to the presence of these people. Now, what sets this amazing Mastiff breed apart from other Mastiff catch dogs like the Presa Canario or the Fila Brasileiro is their reluctance to attack and bite without serious provocation. The term catch dog comes from hunting and basically means the dog will catch the prey, in contrast to the bay dog who will merely corner the animal and lead the hunter to the scene by loud barking. Now, it goes without saying that the intimidation factor of a fully grown adult Connie Corso should be more than sufficient to discourage anyone from trying to assault you or break into your home. After all, fully grown males can easily reach 70 centimeters, which is around 28 inches, and weigh upwards of 150 pounds. Now, apart from perhaps the Bull Mastiff and the English Mastiff, the Connie Corso is quite possibly the best family guardian breed on the planet. Now, of course, just like with the Bull Mastiff, I might be a little bit biased as I have had the pleasure of owning a Connie Corso myself and have worked with a great number of these amazing dogs over the years. However, many owners report that their Connie Corso absolutely adores adore their children. Despite their enormous size and bulk, these dogs are proverbial gentle giants in the home environment. They love children and display an astonishing amount of patience with them. For example, remaining friendly whilst toddlers might accidentally poke little fingers into their faces. Of course, with any large breed, you should never leave your dog and your young kids to play together unattended, as the dog can even hurt them just by knocking them over by accident. It is quite amazing how gentle these massive mastiffs are in the house. They tend to move around very carefully, cautious not to knock over anything in their way. Other large breeds, like for example the Rottweiler, quite often continue on their path through the house and are known to quite carelessly shove aside items like coffee tables or technical equipment as they go. Now, despite their high prey drive, Corsos, when trained properly in obedience and manners, are astonishingly calm house companions who even can live in an apartment if provided with sufficient opportunity to run off leash at least twice a day. Now, thanks to their history as coursing mastiffs, tasked to pursue game, these dogs come with a high prey drive, comparable to that of the Presa Canario and the Feeler that we mentioned earlier. Now, fulfilling these active giants' needs for exercise and mental stimulation can be quite a bit of work, so it is advisable to make obedience drills, good long walks and vigorous play times part of their daily routine. With a bit of training, the Connie Corso will be quite happy to accompany you whilst you are jogging or out riding a bicycle, and they will calmly trot beside you on a lovely loose lead. But due to the breed's intelligence and trainability, it is easy to teach a Connie Corso to also play fetch or tug of war with you, for example. Another excellent way of helping your Connie Corso burn off that excessive energy is providing them with a spring pole or flirt pole, or to simply attach a strong rubber band with a biting toy rope to it to a tree in your backyard. Once your Connie Corso is fully grown, energetic play sessions with a flirt pole have proven highly effective and fun for both dogs and their owners. Now, apart from walks and playtimes, if you want to own a Connie Corso, you simply cannot slack on the socialization and obedience front. These extremely powerful mastiffs have a long history as battle dogs, after all, and they can turn aggressive when not led by a strong, gentle, calm, consistent leader. 
Unfortunately, in my role as a canine behaviorist, and I do specialize with large Mastiff and Guardian breeds like the Connie Corso, I see every single day how very wrong things can and do go with these breeds. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean it's anything to do with the breed. It is always the failing on the owners and leaders parts. So in other words, you must take care to provide yourself with the knowledge of how to become a high level canine leader that is capable of managing, raising and training training such a wonderful Mastiff breed. So then, not only is the Connie Corso an extremely powerful guard dog who comes with a sky-high natural intimidation factor, this Italian Mastiff also is an absolutely loving, loyal and deeply affectionate companion. Due to their ancient history as guardians and protectors, Corsos come with a genetic predisposition to defend what is theirs. This includes their territory, their owners as well as their owners' families and other animals living on the property. The deep emotional bonds these giant dogs form with their owners combined with their patience and love for children make them an ideal choice for families who are looking for an affectionate yet active canine companion. So I hope you enjoyed that bit of more of a deep dive into the fascinating temperament of the Connie Corso. It's no secret that they are one of my favourite breeds on the planet, so I love anything to do with talking about this amazing breed, which is why we have set up this dedicated Connie Corso channel where we have two videos a week coming to here just about Connie Corsos. So if you love the Connie Corso as much as we do, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell because I cannot wait to speak to you again on the next episode of the Femrea Connie Corso Show.